Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the video, I want to take a moment to say thank you to all of my members. They are scrolling up on the screen right now. If you want to become a channel member, you can do so. Some of the perks include either a shout out, which is the lowest tier, or for the second tier, um, I do members only content. That's either a members only live stream, or I do it like a get ready with me or something like that, usually once a week. And uh, you also get members only emojis. And yeah, that's basically it. It's a great way to support the channel. So if you want to become a member, then look at the, look, uh, look in the description box for a link, or you can click on the subscribe button if that's an option on your phone. Um, but otherwise, thank you so much. Other ways to support the channel is, of course, just viewing videos are really greatly really appreciated for everyone that views. If for everybody that takes time to watch the videos, additionally if you want to leave a comment you can do so and make sure you give it a like, that helps me out enormously as well, or you can leave a dislike, that lets me know that you either like this content or you don't like this content so that I keep making the content that you want to see, you can also send a super thanks if you are inclined to do so, but otherwise thank you so much to all of my members for supporting me, I really really appreciate it, and on that note let's get into the video. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. My name is Ilona. I'm also known as Shikara Transformations. I'm an online health and fitness coach and I'm also a bodybuilder. It's, it's not that good. Look at my last story, my last reel. There's some good double biceps in there and some real light. <laughs> if you're curious to see what that's all about, then check out my vlog series. I have several of them. I'm currently vlogging my off-season journey, if you like. My improvement season, trying to make some more gains. A little bit. I don't want too many. I don't want to get too muscular. Well, I think it's too muscular. But I do want to make some gains. So, check that out. I'll show you what I eat in a day and stuff like that. It's actually filmed for the updating yesterday. And I uploaded one as well Yes, Rosie! I uploaded one yesterday as well. So, today we're going to look again at Food of Beauty. Because, I don't know. I just felt like it. Um, and I'm a, bit, I'm, I'm a little bit tired. Because I'm waking up at 3 o'clock or before 3 o'clock pretty much every day. Which is fun. And that's me being sarcastic. So, her healthy chicken pot pie. Um, I did see the video about her eating the Taco Bell mukbang. Where she's very smug about her cheating husband. Talk, she was talking about reaction channels. And she is saying that she can still be loved even though she's big. And yeah, you can't be loved if you're a bigger person. I don't think that that's the issue. I think it's more that Chantal is who she is. Um, her track record of her personality online and her um, just general behavior and lack of hygiene, I think, is more of an issue than her size. Uh, but everybody can see that whatever is between her and Salah is not genuine, at least not in my opinion. It's the way they touch and the way they interact is really awkward. And, um, you know, and... It's a, I thought it was interesting, interesting that she's making out to be like that she gained a little bit of weight. But she's gained, a, she's not really, she's always been a bigger girl. He's always known she's big, so. I don't think that's, that, I think her size has never had anything to do with anything. So it's a bit weird. But anyway, let's get into this video and see what she has to say. And then I'll probably do a live tomorrow. We'll see what we'll do. Maybe we'll do some glitz and lasers as well as foodie. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Well, hello guys, hello. I'm super hungry. That is enormous. That is almost as wide as Charles. That tray has to be like five kilos. Why do you make such a big pot pie for him? Why? That is enough for like, I reckon that is eight servings in there. Half of it's already been eaten anyway. Which is also a bit weird. Like, why are you going to start a mukbang with half of a pot pie? But why so much though? Why so much? Like, there's no need to eat that much. Look at the size of it. Like, even if you're a couple of people, there's like, this is literally enough food for two people for four days. First, I'm going to say bismillah and dig right in. Okay? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this crust here. As you can see, I'm eating. And we can see that the diet's going well. So, like, I don't care how healthy you're going to make a crust. It's just the quantity, the fact that with the russels, the fact that it's got olive oil and butter, it's just not healthy. 
and I would imagine it's especially not particularly diabetic friendly, but never mind. Pie, pie, look at the chicken. Beautiful. Mm. I need to open a restaurant. I. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I will need that, that's sure. I make the best pot pie. Now, my pie crust is made with oil, not butter, not lard. I mean, oil is just as bad as butter, though, in terms of calories. Just because it's got olive oil, like, but like, if you get actual butter, actual real butter is not bad for you. Olive oil is also like, an oil is an oil is a fat is a fat, isn't it, really? I mean, like, granted, some fats are better than other fats, but at the same time, if you're having, a, like, a 500 calories worth of oil, or 500 calories worth of butter, it doesn't matter, it's still 500 calories that you probably shouldn't be having. It's obviously more than that, that crosses a lot more than that, obviously, but... And whole wheat flour. Super flaky. Mm. I mean, the thickness of that crust. Does she put the recipe in here? She doesn't. I mean, it's like, I think a lot of people get deluded into thinking that because something is whole grain or whole wheat, that it's like, it's better for you in terms of like it's got some fiber in it. And it's got a little bit more nutrition in it and obviously like maybe like for in terms of crust baking crusts um in terms of like things like making crusts and pies like maybe it's a bit better a bit less calories sure you get a bit more fiber so that's more nutritious sure but if you're gonna sit there and eat like a fucking tray for eight people i don't care if it's whole wheat or not it's unhealthy unless it's like made like unless the unless you make like a topping of like sliced aubergine or uh, what do you call them eggplants in america like then like if you do stuff like that where you make like a lasagna made out of like aubergine slices basically moussaka i suppose kind of but the point is is that unless if you're replacing one flour with another or one oil with another but you're still using it in large quantities it's why not just have the real thing like you're not eating it to be more nutritious like that sauce has got a root sauce in it that's been made with butter with flour that's probably been um there's probably like a lot of other stuff in there so there's probably cheese in there so, like, I don't know, I just don't get it, it defeats the point, it really defeats the point, if, are, if you're going to eat a volume of this, then just eat the whole, just eat the white flour. And, and I'm eating out of the dish because I just feel like it. Beauty bite! So there's chicken thighs, um, corn, beans, like green beans, carrots. Oh! She uses frozen veggies as well in that. My homemade gravy. So if she makes her own gravy, that's made from a roux sauce, so... I'm not going to eat this whole thing, don't worry. <laughs> and I made my own pickled cabbage. So the trick is, guys, do not throw out your leftover pickle juice, okay? I'm pretty sure... If you're going to pickle vegetables, you need to cook it all down first, your pickling juice, right? And then, and then you put your veggies in it. And it needs to be in a container that's air sealed, because if it's not air sealed, that juice is still going to go off. That can still spoil and, like, um, rot. Right? I could be wrong. I added cabbage, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit more vinegar and a bit of honey. More sugar, more oil. Jesus Christ, this is like, in, I understand what she's trying to do, but what she's doing is completely wrong, and it's just, she's trying to lose weight, but it's just, because everything, what, what she deems a little is not a little, I've seen the live streams where she has like a little bit of cheese, it's like, bro, that's literally two servings of cheese, if Chantal really wants to lose weight, if she, if she, which I don't, th I know she doesn't, she doesn't want to lose weight, she wants to eat, um, and she wants to eat Taco Bell, she doesn't want to eat even healthy food, or like sometimes it's okay a bit of healthy food, but she mostly wants to just eat whatever she wants to eat. <sighs> she needs to weigh things out, because her portions are obscene, and I'm, I'm not just saying that because I'm a skinny, I'm not skinny, I'm, I'm a fucking, I'm a muscle mummy, but at the same time, unless you're weighing your food out, you don't know how much you're eating, and I can assure you, 
Like, I can eat a lot. I can eat big portions. But what she just deems a small portion is like, it's still big for most people. Hello. Do you want to come and say hi? Come on then. Hey. Oh, oh. There we go. We had a little cuddle this morning, didn't we? Yeah, you like to come for cuddles with mommy, don't you? You have cuddles with me all the time. Oh, we've got a very, very purry cat. Let's do some cat ASMR. You guys are getting bopped. Look. Look at the love you're getting. He's saying hi to everybody. Hey, Violet. Violet. No, she's not looking. Can we be getting tangled in my course? Look, she see? She's not she's getting skinny, eh? You can you're becoming a skinny girl as well, yeah. Yeah, mommy put you on a diet. Cause mommy made you a little bit fat by accident. Only a little fat, not really fat. You were a little chunky cat. You were a little chunky cat, but not so much anymore. Not so much anymore. Look, we can see she has the shape now. Look. <laughs> See? She's getting, she's losing body fat. Yeah. But she's always hungry. Yeah. You're always hungry. Just like your sisters. They're always hungry too. <laughs> I'm spending there about 30 hours. Oh, and garlic. It's delicious. It's because it's drenched in oil and honey. Of course it's going to be tasting nice. Wow. So good. Mm. She literally shuffles the food in, doesn't she? By the size of the bites that she takes. So my gravy. Essentially. Tell me how you made this healthy. I would love to know. It looks very buttery, cheesy, and roux saucy, which is not everything but healthy. Milk, water, chicken stock, the chicken drippings from the legs. Um, salt, pepper, onion powder, um, seven spice, a bit of parmesan. No. There, there's flour in there as well. She has, she has some sort of binding agents in there. Worc um, Worcestershire sauce. Because it's like, it's, it's thick. Like, that's not, that's not a sauce. That's impossible. You can't make a sauce out of drippings and gravy, uh, out of water and like salt and spices. Like, that doesn't thicken up like that. And there's so much chicken and black pepper. No. This, she's, she's deaf, that's, that's an absolute lie, because I can see, it's got like a mashed potato-y sort of consistency. That means like, it's a, it's a roux sauce. She made a roux sauce. She didn't, this is not just like water with seasonings and some drippings. That's not what this is. There's flour has been used in here, or cheese or something. Something to thicken it up. Not that salty. Mm. It's absolutely insane that she probably was so excited to eat this that she started this already and she's already pretty much devoured half of it or like a solid third of it and it's such a big portion like I'm not joking it's literally almost as wide as she is I know there's some element of optical illusion but this is a big fucking pot because this jar here that's like um, that's a little cat fluff um, this is this has got to be like at least like Three, maybe two, two to three liters, maybe I think more than that to be honest. This is this. I think this is literally a tray that's like maybe like five, five liters, or maybe more. There was already a huge chunk missing. That was um my husband's. <laughs> I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was. Portion. Now, when I was... Are we going to get a childhood story that revolves around food? <laughs> I'm sure we are, because we don't ever get any other stories right. No, I'm always used to eating. It's kind of sad. Like, it is kind of weird. It's kind of weird, but it's kind of sad and explains a lot, to be honest, why she is the way she is. But, yeah. 
those like Swanson TV dinners. You know the ones I'm talking about, the frozen ones that are like cardboard? They're pretty good though. See, I did not grow up on stuff like that at all. My mother never, we never had stuff like this. We never, my mom never, we sometimes got chips, we sometimes had takeouts and stuff, but my mom never gave us like microwave or anything like that ever. No, like we just never had that growing up. Mm. My new favorite thing is pickled cabbage. Um. All right, shall we have a shall we have a bat? Uh, bat, bat. I said that really weird. Bet early on how much she's gonna eat. I reckon she's gonna eat until. So if this is the halfway mark here, I reckon she's gonna eat to about here. So I reckon she's gonna eat like another solid third. I reckon she'll leave like a quarter. If this is like one, two, three. If there's like four, if there's quarters in here now, she's almost at half. I reckon she's gonna eat another quarter and maybe leave. She's. I reckon she's gonna eat three quarters. I sound fucking special sometimes, don't I, when I talk? <laughs> Jesus Christ. How you guys watch me, I don't know. <laughs> the holy flower. At least I'm self aware, I suppose. There's that, there's that. I know when I'm being an idiot. <laughs> Doesn't taste much different than the other one. Than regular white flour. And it has a lot more fiber and a nutritional benefit. Mm -hmm. but so this, that makes it healthy, yeah? We're, we're, we're going to disregard the fat. We're gonna we're gonna disregard the oil. We're gonna disregard the roussels they made. Probably the cheese in there as well, I'd imagine. But the honey, the other oil. But it's 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 more fiber, so it's good for you. That's that's how this works. You eat the bad food. If you eat it with the good food, the bad food doesn't exist. Science. Gravy is so creamy. Mm. Oh. It also has a bit of flour and butter for the roux. I told you. Not a bit, that has a lot of butter and flour, because that is a very thick roux sauce. And if you've ever made a roux sauce, you know that to get a sauce that covers this quantity of roux, uh, this quantity of filling, I should say, you're not looking at like two, two or three tablespoons of flour, because that's what you would normally use. You'd use a little bit of butter with two or three tablespoons of flour to get like a sauce that's maybe a cup, right? Something like that. Some, a, thick, a thicker sauce that's around a cup, you're looking at maybe... <coughs> 30 to 50 grams of butter with a couple of tablespoons and then you get a, th a thickish uh, somewhat thickish sauce um that's a cup this is many many cups this is like i'm gonna say she created a pot like an actual fucking pot that's several liters of sauce so there, there's not just a little bit of butter and a little bit of root flour this is an, an all of root sauce because you can see i can see it's completely drenched in it it's not just coated it's drenched in it okay. That's about it. Look, it looks like fucking, it looks like it's sitting in a very runny, watery uh, mashed potato. That's the roux sauce. It's not mashed potatoes, it's roux sauce. That's how much roux sauce there is in there. Yeah, that's okay. God. Hi. My cats are staring at me like, what are you eating? Whoops. I'm gonna put it here. So I used to eat the Swanson's dinners. The Swanson, now. Uh, why would she not just? Why is she putting it on the table and not just in her tray here? I don't know. Pot pies. They're like a dollar. They used to be like a dollar. Now with inflation, they're like two fifty or something. I'm not paying that. I'll just make my own pot pie. Mmm. The crust turned out so good. I'll like never use another crust recipe. Mm. She's she's a healthy queen now, isn't she? So this is what you do when you're healthy. You eat literally. <laughs> Around four kilos of food in the sitting. Pretend that the roux sauce isn't made of roux, <laughs> and everything else is healthy. Let me see. Never. I did so much walking today. Mhm. Mm Are we gonna get evidence of that? <laughs> Probably not. My stamina is insane. I love it. Amazing, amazing how she can eat such large volumes of food, lose allegedly like something like 10 pounds, 15 pounds, which is somewhat possible, and her stamina has gone from being existent to being through the roof. If only it was so easy to improve your health that quickly in a week. Just like building muscle, apparently, she didn't lose any weight. <laughs>
Because she thought she built muscle. It's it's taken me literally nearly a decade to build around 12 pounds of muscle <laughs> with performance enhancers and a good diet and training properly. So Chantal's not going to build a couple of pounds of muscle within a week. If it was that easy, then the girls would be really fucking jacked and we would literally all look like men the second we picked up a weight. To look like a man as a woman is actually kind of hard and requires a lot of performance enhancers. Um, I know that people think that I take a lot. I really, I genuinely really don't, comparatively speaking. Um, and I'm not on anything right now. But the point is, is that even if you're on stuff, it still takes, it's, it's not easy. You need to take a lot of performance enhancers to get really fucking big as a woman. And then you still need to eat and train. You're not just going to build muscle from walking. That's the, that's the most stupid thing I've ever heard. You're building muscle from walking. Have you ever seen like any, have you ever seen any like marathon runners and stuff like that that are buff? No. Sprinters can be, but sprinters also train a lot of resistance training. So they train differently. But if you look at just like endurance, anybody that does anything endurance wise, they're always really skinny and like, like sinewy looking because the, like, you want to be light, right? Because you're doing, carrying, carrying more weight when you're doing long, long periods of anything. It's not, um, it's not beneficial, like it slows you down. But yeah, walking does not build muscle. I mean, like perhaps you might eventually build some muscles in your calves and your legs and stuff. You might develop, you might develop some muscle, I suppose, but you're not gonna get buff from walking. Let's, let's just be real. <laughs> Only a little bit of sauce in there, yeah? The more you do, the more you can. It's 100% true. She tells us that she's sitting here with her old makeup, probably just woken up. Hmm. I think I'll have to freeze some. You won't. She's gonna just eat it all, let's be real. I'm surprised if we'll even see a return of this in later video. I'll be impressed. I would be impressed if she does stop herself at the halfway mark. And if she does stop herself and freezes the rest and shows a later video, I would be very impressed. But that's not going to happen. Or just eat it like over the next few days. <laughs> Later today. Hmm. There's no bottom crust. It's just the top. But bro, that crust is kind of thick though. It's like, it's literally like almost a centimeter thick that crust. And with all the root sauce, this has got to be so calorie dense. I reckon this is a, so much worse than of this frozen pies. The cheap. And the vegetables and chicken on the bottom. That's it. <laughs> you, you're forgetting about the root sauce. Jesus Christ. That Russell's, I've said it a million times already, so I'm not going to say it again. It's so good. I wanted to film it, but... We got home later than I thought. It was pretty much already dinner time by the time we got home, and I still had to, like, make everything from scratch. But first, I had to clean the kitchen. Clean the dishes from the last time I cooked, my, my previous meal. <laughs> well, yesterday. And I just did everything super fast. If I failed it, I would have had to get dressed. Like, I mean, I would have had to stay dressed. <laughs> I could eat the whole jar, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Self-restraint. Not something I'm very familiar with, but I gotta learn. Right, BB Gian? All right, let's see this crispy crust here. Huge chunks of cheese. She's I mean, we've still got like seven minutes left, and she, like, she probably doesn't have a lot to say. So I'm genuinely curious how much she's going to eat of this pie because it's a, like literally this as wide as she is almost. Yeah. Mm. That's a big fucking pie. Shovel some in. So flaky. Hmm. Hmm. Fortunately, well, you're probably thinking, no, it's not a good thing. <laughs> I'm a fat girl who can cook when I want to. I mean, uh, to me, it doesn't look very nice, to be honest. I don't think this looks like a nice pot pie. And what she, what she says she's put in it, it doesn't sound like nasty. Ingredients. And I've seen her made a roux sauce. Their roux sauce is way too thick and it kind of looks a bit lumpy, to be honest. But
Ow. Jesus Christ. Jeez. Such a rush to eat all of it. It's kind of remarkable to watch her eat though. It's like fascinating in a morbid way. Hi. So yeah. So much chicken. I put a lot of gravy, a lot of chicken. But I thought you did only a small amount of roux sauce. How can you put a lot of gravy if there's not a lot of roux? None of that. Skipping over here. No, no, no. I mean, look, it's basic. Like, you can just... I know, it's just roux sauce, guys. It's, it's basically butter and flour. It's super unhealthy. Like, I don't care how you dress it up. It's super unhealthy. Look how thickly they're covered. Thickly covered it is? It's English. It, thick, thickly, thickly, is that even a word? Thickly? How well coated it is. Well, let's, let's rephrase the sentence. <laughs> mm. Okay, one more bite. Really? Only one more? What are you going to talk about for the rest of us in the next five minutes? This huge piece of chicken. Um. A little bit of the side crust. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's like a whole thigh. <laughs> it's so good. It's well, at least it's rich in protein. I'll give her that. It's definitely rich in protein. Like half gone, I know. Well, a big chunk of it was gone because of like Salah, like I said. But I did eat a lot of it. <laughs> I like purposely. Sorry, someone messaged me. I purposely like starved all day almost so that I could eat this. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, sure you did. What did I eat today? I had. Here we go. Skinny, skinny Chantel in the house. I had. Did she have eggs with some green peppers? A tuna fish sandwich, my first thing. Then where we went, I had. I shared a tiny size mango gelato with my husband. Uh, I had like a few bites. And then I had. That's it. This is the next meal I had. Mm. We're forgetting all the cheeses. We ate bites of here and there. Okay, this is the last bite. <laughs> I'm still hungry. That's crazy. I know people think I'm trolling. Or I'm not serious. I am very serious. Well, it's kind of difficult to take you serious when you do this kind of shit, though, isn't it? <laughs> you're complaining and crying about your health, and then you're sitting there eating basically like thousands of calories in a sitting, even though it's like whole grain, and you use oil instead of butter. It's like it, it, it defeats the point if you're going to eat quantities like this and then the Taco Bells and stuff. I literally walked. You walked probably like a kilometer, if that. For like probably a good. Three to four hours today. Yeah, I don't believe that for a second. Show me your pedometer. I would love to see how long, how far you actually walked and how much of that was sitting. Because saying you walked a lot is one thing. Being out and about is not walking. Walking for three to four hours straight, not even I do that. <laughs> like, I'll tell you, because I, I do carry a pedometer on my phone, so I'm going to disprove this straight away because she's talking fucking bullshit. And I'm just not, I'm just not in the mood for it, to be honest. Um, so yesterday, I did 14,000 steps. Uh, so 14,000 steps. Uh, what day is that? What day are we on now? 17. That is a total of 135 minutes of walking. 135 minutes of walking like walking where it tracks it is literally just over two hours so that's 14,000 steps so you're telling me that but when I do 14,000 steps a day on my phone by the way I do more steps than that obviously because I'm doing things around the house and when I'm in the gym I don't carry my phone on me my point but I'll probably do something like if I do 14,000 steps on my phone 14 15 on my phone I'll probably do like 18 to 20 in real life right so you're telling me that you are more active in walking than what I am and I'm supposed to believe that. 
And that's not a flex because I'm an extremely active person. I have dogs. So I'm obviously going to walk more than the average person. But you're telling me that you walked three hours, which is more, that's doing, then you would have walked over 10,000 steps. I don't, I just don't believe it. I just don't believe it. I'm not even for a second. I don't even think she can walk for three hours. And I barely sat down. No, um, that's, okay. Do you think she says this to like, is, does she genuinely believe this? Or is she just deluded into, like, is this just a Chantal delusion, a delusion of grandeur that she's built up? Because it's just like, what are you talking about, bro? Like, you can't even walk for more than 10 minutes without, like, five minutes without being out of breath. And now you've walked, you're, now you're walking three hours. The other, like, not a little few months ago, you could, like, even stepping to the side of the fridge was too much work. But now you're walking three hours without barely stopping. Yeah, sure. Um, I just, like, from, I don't know if it's from walking so much or just not eating a lot of junk food. I, my stamina <laughs> to walk is, like, I don't even feel any pain it's crazy imagine, imagine that imagine how uh, how quickly she's healed herself basically her sciatica has just disappeared because she's moving more and she's eating less junk food and like now she's gone from not being able to walk for more than a minute to walking three hours straight within like a week guys it's amazing i don't know what she's doing but she needs to write a book and fucking sell that shit because she would be a millionaire i can guarantee because if it was only so easy if it was only so easy to improve your health, if it was only so easy, there would be no need for doctors. We could just sit here eating pork pies for five people, pretending that a root sauce is not made with flour and butter and enormous quantities, that a litres of oil is better than a couple of sticks of butter, and we'll just walk a little bit and suddenly we're fucking health queens. It's amazing. She doesn't even believe in herself, look. Look, she's in shock, look. She doesn't know, she doesn't know how she does it either. Mm. Oh, that was good. Okay, now I'm starting to feel it. <laughs> feel full. But you guys were right when I asked you about like the, um, if chicken thighs would be good in this. And those of you who said it's better, it's so good with the chicken thighs. And the thighs better, it's fattier, isn't it? Fattier meets always say it's nicer. Crust is so brown because of the whole wheat, but the whole wheat flour, it adds like an extra bite to it. It adds like a, another layer of flavor to the crust. I put some egg wash on it. Yeah, it's very flaky. I love it. Perfect. I'm so, so happy it turned out well. <laughs> so, I'm going to go uh, put this, divide it up in the containers and... <laughs> sure, Jen. If I can find them. You did some meal prepping, love. There's like around four portions there. You did well. You ate, you ate a solid three on your own. Lids. and put it away for tomorrow's lunch or whatever dinner i don't know she's she's no she's gonna literally eat this after the video anyway i was very hungry actually now i can yeah i need to slow down because it catches up with you i'm gonna sleep so good tonight i'm gonna have a hot shower and then just get into like comfy pjs and relax and i'm gonna finish watching cape fear i started watching cape fear that is such a messed up movie like I couldn't get over how good of an actress Juliette Lewis is. I was like, wow, she's a really good actress. She's always been a good actress. Anyway, all right, guys. Well, thanks for um, having dinner with me and um, seeing my pot pie. I'll, I watched that, uh, that Netflix anime adaptation of the Yu Yu something something with the yokai and uh, like the spirits and stuff like that. It was really good. I enjoyed it. I, rarely, I very rarely sit down and watch a series back to back. But I started watching that and I was like, huh, quite impressed. That was nice. So yeah, I highly recommend it. I don't, I don't know what it's called. You use something. I've, I've actually never seen the anime, but it looks familiar. But this whole sort of thing with like spirits and spirit hunters is like a very trendy thing in anime, isn't it? So there's a lot of animes out there like it. But this real life anime adaptation was very good. I'm very proud of it because pot pie is something I always dreamed of making. You know, I always crave it. It's one of those foods I crave regularly. And now that I can make it, I'd say it's fairly easy. Once you get the hang of it. It's not hard at all. I'm happy I can make it now. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Alright, so I'm gonna go. Because obviously, as usual, I'm talking way too fucking much. And I want some more caffeine. So, thanks a lot for watching and bearing with me with my tired ramblings. I do appreciate it. Comment, like, subscribe, dislike the video. If you dislike it, let me know down below why. It's an A. Uh,
I ate a chicken and the veggie emoji, I guess. So yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate you watched, and I will see you tomorrow probably in the live stream. Yes, we'll see what we'll do. Maybe we we'll do some travel. Maybe we'll do some glitter and lasers. We'll see. We'll see. I haven't decided yet. And if I sleep again really shit and I need to sleep, I'm going to sleep because that's more important at the end of the day. And you just get pre-recorded content. But we'll see. Have a good one, guys. Um, I'll keep you updated. Anyway, bye.